Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Saul and I'm going to bring you a short tutorial on the auto spawner with Enderman into Ender Generator Infinite Power Supply method. Um, what this uses is a player or a pick player, in this case a, a top, or a dynamism tablet with a bedrock sword, you could use autonomous activators, melee turtles, um, kind of whatever you want, with a sewer to collect where the mobs are standing, and then on the back side of that is a vacuum hopper to collect everything. The vacuum hopper does need to be on the back side. This is because we have all the fans and they will push the items to the back. So if it's on, for example, this side here, the vacuum hopper won't actually pick anything up. The key part of this is the auto spawner uses a certain amount of mob essence and a certain amount of power per mob spawn, and we get a positive feedback system here. For the positive feedback system, we need six ender generators um, to keep up. So just real quick, we have Three dynamism tablets, this once again could be turtles, with bedrock swords in them in this case. These have looting 5 and sharpness 5, so you get more mob drops. We have item ducts that run from our vacuum hopper around. And this runs into, in this case, 10 ender generators. This can be scaled up to 1,200 for each auto spawning system if you are using bedrock swords. If you are using turtles, it will be a lot less due to the wing mechanic. The final aspect of this is the item duct here with our deep storage unit as well as a chest. This is just to make sure the drops don't get spewed out here once all of our generators are full. You need to make sure this is set to dense. And then on the item duct to the chest, you need to blacklist ender pearls. This is because if we don't do this, this chest will fill up very quickly with ender pearls and the deep storage unit won't. Another way that you could do this is just extend the chest out further than the deep storage unit. So to do that, you do something like um, this real quick. Um, actually, that's a really bad place for this, but we can still do it. So you just do something like here. And if you're going to do this, you do need to make sure that you have a cover not there. Um, there. So it's still on the dents, and then your chest would come and sit down here. Somewhere like here. This gets away needing the pneumatic servo here, but it's kind of up to you if you want the compact design with the chest here. Or not. Um, the final aspect of this build is right here. So we have our redstone energy cells. We feed directly up into our auto spawner. This means that anytime these generators are running, which they should always be running, the auto spawner will have power, and then all the excess is getting fed to this resonant energy cell. So we'll turn it on real quick, and you guys can see it running takes a few seconds to spawn the first set of mobs, but uh, once it starts spawning, it's much quicker uh, due to the wait time. If it can't find a place to spawn the mob, which this platform is actually a little bit smaller than it needs to be, um, it would need to be a 4x4, four four, or a 9x9, nine nine, so 4 out on each side um, to have the full distance, and it's not long enough. Um, I do this because of the distance fans push mobs. So, two blocks, you can go three here, but I built this one at two. So, two blocks with ack, and then um, you do want the nine across widthwise. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, um, and I hope this helps you solve all of your power needs. Once again, you can scale this up to much more than the 10 ender generators here, here. And the total power of this system with the bedrock swords can produce is 96,000 
uh, RF per second. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed, and you don't have power issues anymore. Have a good day. Ciao.